welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing part 9 of my let's fill out this chart that I made with the drills I got from ArtDot. Um, I don't have the bag anymore, box anymore, but this is it. This is all I have left. So, would you believe that the first um, video of this I posted was, I believe, in April? So it's taken me a while. What is it, October? <laughs> so yeah, it's the last part of this series. Um, thank you guys for like anyone who's watched from the beginning of this series. Thank you guys. So yeah, um, I, I did make this chart myself and it can be a downloadable version of it is on in my Etsy shop. So thank you to the folks who have bought this um, chart. I, I'm glad you liked it enough to buy it. Um, so let's, I have my mermaid pen. I haven't, I haven't put wax in this since the last time I did this series. So let's hope it's still okay. So three, eight, three, zero. Three eight three zero is terracotta. Um, I'm just gonna put them in these smaller baggies, and then once I'm done with this, um, putting these away, I will mix them in with the rest of my drills when I kit them down. So I'm not going to go do them, you know, all at once. It's just if I kit it down and I see it, and I'm and I can see if it color matches what I have currently in my stash, then. I'll do that then and not now because otherwise this would be a really, really long video. Although my video, oh, I was a little too aggressive in my pour there. Um, my video from last Friday was my longest video ever. <laughs> so we'll see if I end up making insanely long videos. I don't know. Oh, hey, look, this is the first time I got this. I don't even have it at all in my other one. So, oops, I have one extra here. And apparently I don't ever get this color, so all of them are needed. So I'm just putting it into my spare storage while I'm cutting them open. And then I'm sticking it onto my chart with double-sided tape. 3831. And I have my labels here that um, it should be in my shared templates folder. So if you do want to use my label templates, feel free to use it. Um, I've had some folks tell me they've been successful in using the labels. So at least I know some people have gotten them to work. <laughs> God, like I bought this I got well I didn't buy this I got I got this sent for a review but I got this so long ago I think this this is supposed to be 1,000 right 1,000 drills I don't know I'd have to go look at the listing <laughs> but um, there's a reason I'm doing the finale of this one I should be done with it already right how long have been have I been doing this and two I this or last week or it's um, last week, I guess, in perspective of this video, I bought, um, I bought, ah, uh, what's my words? Um, I bought more Heaven and Earth Designs, <laughs> another cross-stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs, and more, I bought three. Yes, I bought three. Mainly because, do you know how many, after putting these away, my um, spare squares are in six photo boxes now? I, I I mean six. I mean, I have my rounds and my squares in separate boxes because it got to the point that the, the squares, there was just so much with me putting these into my stash that... I'm at six boxes now and I already had I would I would say probably before I added these if if I did not have these art dot ones I probably would be at four 
So I think these, I felt like these might have added two boxes to my stash. Um, I'm just giving an estimate. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but it might have added two extra boxes to my stash. Um, but so since I did, oh, so the Heaven and Earth Designs is a website with cross stitch patterns that are licensed to um, several artists. Um, well, there's lots of artists licensed there, and you could also get a canvas with the cross stitch pattern printed on it for diamond painting, but I went the cheap route because I've done it already. I just went the route of, okay, so my box, I had all these um, trays in the back so that because it was still loose, but me just adding some has made it like a little bit more le less loose. But um, my cross, see, this is why I can't, I, I usually don't talk and do these at the same time because yeah, my, it's like I'm doing too many things, putting a sticker on a label, cutting open a package and then diamond painting it on there. And that's why I don't tend to talk during this process because I only have so much brain power, um, multitasking brain power. So I bought a heaven and earth cross stitch pattern. I bought three more. Um, two of them are what I will call Joan size, as in it is smaller than my 18 by 24 inch art portfolio. <laughs> so the problem with heaven and earth designs is all their designs are ginormous. It's, and I'm, I'm, it's like, they're massive. Um, if you don't buy the mini size, most of the designs are, are like at least uh, um, 100 centimeters across on the short side. So, so yeah, I, I pretty much went through the site. I wish there was a way to sort it by size because I, the size matters to me, not because um, of pretty much just storage. I just don't have anywhere really. Well, I guess I could. My house is not that small. I have places to put in it, places to put stuff in, but I just don't want to have my big ones rolled up somewhere. Um, I want them to be in like a book that's easy to show folks the crazy well you know you know when you get a guest or something and the, and then you're like here here is my massive portfolio this is all the crazy stuff I've done um, since I started diamond painting it's easier with the smaller ones because you can get the books for them so okay so I'm di I'm like going beyond what I was talking about so I did buy another Heaven and Earth Designs cross um, stitch pattern. I bought three because they were on sale. Um, I don't know if they're still on sale. I just bought it last Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday, um, and they were on sale. And they were on sale for like 50% off. So um, all the patterns I got were I think they were six dollars or I think one of them might have been five dollars and fifty cents um, so yeah I I got a pattern mainly because I'm on six boxes of my spares if I'm not going to use them to do a heaven like a cross stitch pattern what am I keeping my spares for so um, I have another um, cross stitch pattern ongoing right now so I have that and then I, I said I bought three new ones so the two small ones i'm gonna use my my um spare storage i think the big one um since i really like the image of the big one i'm going to actually buy the drills from that for that from one place so that at least when it's diamond painted it will look much neater i'm hoping it'll look much neater um so, but I'm not planning to, and but I'm not planning to buy any of this stuff until the AliExpress 1111 sale. So, um, but I am going to kit up the two small ones um, soon so that I can gauge whether I need to buy 
more drills for those two smaller ones um, because I don't have enough in my stash even though I told you I just I have I have um, six boxes of spares for the squares but that doesn't mean I have um, enough drills for the certain colors that are in the pattern so yeah my my plan is to um, buy the drills for this big one like completely but use my spares for the small the, the small ones and then my other heaven and earth designs that i as ongoing and use my spares for those ones um mainly because the big yeah i said the big one i kind of really i like the picture that i think i might put it up so so yeah that one i'm going to buy the drills for but then I figure if I'm gonna buy the drills for that it's probably not that hard for me to add to the order whatever other drills I need from the other two patterns so I just kind of want to do this all before the 1111 sale so so before the 1111 sale And I'm also going to buy the blank canvas during the 11.11 sale, so that's my plan. So I'm going to kit up, I'm gonna, you're going to see two kit ups for my two smaller Heaven and Earth designs. You won't see the kit up for the big one until I get it. Um, because, like I said, I was going to order, I was going to order that separately. But I'm not planning to work on them at all until maybe next year. Probably because I don't anticipate getting, if I'm going to order 1111, um, I don't anticipate getting the the canvas canvases until probably mid-December. So that's why I'm saying it's, I'm not going to work on it until probably next year. Unless I get so excited and I start working on in February, I mean in December. Who knows? But yeah, so I'm thinking Friday's video, I haven't recorded yet, so you don't know, I don't know yet, um, <laughs> will be me kidding up one of them, um, one of my Heaven and Earth designs patterns. But I figure before doing that, I should finish doing this. So at least, at least I know I'll have a, like a thousand drills of these colors, unless I've used the, my, my other ones for something else. But uh, at least I should have at least a thousand drills for these colors and I should be able to gauge if I need to buy more stuff. So. Oh, there's a drill in there. I was thinking, why is this one bumpy? Because there's a random drill in there. Three eight forty is lavender blue. I'm probably going to actually kit up the um, do the Friday video, kit up my Heaven Earth designs thing, like right after this video, unless I get really tired doing this video. But I don't. I don't think it's this one with only not this full sheet being done. It's gonna be a shorter video. I think my previous videos were. I don't even remember, like 40 minutes long. So this might be a 30 minute video, maybe. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's already at, we're already at like 14 minutes. So maybe like a 35 minute video. <laughs> because I was too chatty in the beginning and I can't do and chat at the same time. 3841 is baby blue pale. But yeah, I'm 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 actually I'm actually surprised it's taken me this long to finish this video series. Mainly because um, I was doing this video series and cutting and and doing in a different and on because this video series I've been putting it on Mondays and my Mondays tend to be also my kidding down days and I don't know 
if you guys realize, is I am so behind on kidding down. It's not even funny, and that's why I've sometimes had a uh, kidding down on Fridays, um, because <laughs> apparently I like kidding up so much that I have like a surplus of um, diamond paintings kitted up, but um, <laughs> but when I put one of these in, then I meant I didn't kit down. I actually, would you believe, I actually have a diamond painting I think that I finished in let's say March I haven't kitted it down yet mainly because I kit down based off of what storage it's being um is being used and if I want a storage back I'm more likely to kit it down um than if it's a storage that I don't use that often so so yeah, the one diamond painting that I have to kit down is um, currently in a in one of my Elizabeth Ward storage containers, and I don't use them that much because those storage containers are, for me at least, I feel like they're meant for ginormous diamond paintings. And if you've been watching my channel, my ginormous diamond paintings are few and far between, lots of times. Um, I am working on, I am working on right now, I'm really trying to finish my Chuck Pinson one. I'm, I'm telling myself, I have to finish Chucky. Um, I really do. I really, really do. Um, so it's currently on my table being worked on. Um, I'm about, uh, <laughs> barely one, uh, maybe one, almost one third done maybe i don't know i'm i'm, I'm determined to i think the chuck along ends at the end of this month or is it a three month event all i know all i know is i'm like I, I have to finish this i have to finish this it's been it's been hanging on my wall for a little bit like when i was one fourth done i stopped working on it and i did other stuff um but it's been hanging on my wall for over a um I, I did a, over a month break from it, I think. So I just started up again. So I'm remarkably, I'm only on day. I'm on day four, five, four. No, yesterday was day four of me working on it. Today is day five of me working on it. So I haven't been working on it that much. It just, for whatever reason, when it's big, I, I think I have this big diamond painting block or something. I just look at it and I'm like, I don't know, do I really want to do it? <laughs> so, so yeah, the stuff I kit down is really based off of, do I, I want the pack, I, I want the, um, I want the storage back and not necessarily because I should kit it down because it's old. These are really beautiful colors, these turquoise colors. They're awesome. And I, I think I must do diamond paintings a lot with it because I've already filled up um, some of it from my what's in my real stash. I've been kind of lax on that. I was just doing that as I diamond painted, and then and then I just kind of stopped doing it. I should go do it again because I I only fill these up with my um, if I finish something, and and it has DMC numbers. I would take this out and fill in anything that's missing. But I think I haven't done that for a while, so I need to start start it up again. I will, maybe, hopefully, so that this could be done. Maybe when I'm more um, caught up to my kitting down, I could do like only kit down one time. If you notice, I kit down like normally two, at least two diamond paintings at a time when I kit down because I feel like it's more efficient. Maybe if I'm, if I ever get caught up in my kitting down, I might do a kit down and fill in the holes at this at the same time. Um, perhaps that is a option. And I've also contemplated, if, if it goes on sale cheap enough, um, I've seen a pack on AliExpress of um, I think it's like 170 rhinestone colors. Um, I've, I've had it in my cart a very long time. It just, I just have not bought it because 
I feel, I think it was like 20 something dollars for 500 each of 170 colors or 175 colors. And it just seems kind of expensive for, for that. Um, I think it's because I'm basing it off of my, um, my AB, my AB order, um, from DPF, but it seemed kind of expensive to spend 20 something dollars on, uh, on the rhinestones when I actually have a lot of rhinestones. I don't know. I've been like from just diamond painting because I've done so many special shape diamond paintings that I have I just have tons of leftovers of rhinestones and the only reason I would get that 175 pack is because I want all the colors and not because I need I need the drills to bling up because I have tons I'm telling you tons of rhinestones um yeah it's more like if I see it uh, um in my in go on a good sale on 11.11, I might buy it. 3.8.4.7 is teal. See, I have, this, this box is getting so, it's actually getting full now, um, that I'm, I had, I had to start taking out these things here, and I've already taken out a couple drills, and it's already, so we'll see. But, but yeah, do you see how much I'm already planning to buy on AliExpress's 11.11 sale? Um, I do have a couple items from AliExpress that I ordered. I haven't gotten them yet. Um, like I ordered, like, I remember when I first started diamond painting, the only source of the, the metal tips was um, the everlasting tips in Australia and the only reason I didn't buy them is they were super expensive and I think shipping back in during the pandemic was really funky um, so I never ordered them and then I started seeing them show up for like the tips show up for like ten dollars each but I saw this um, I, I've seen um, that, uh, metal diamond painting tips show up now for like a dollar each now, practically, or like two dollars each now. So I bought a pack of, I think it was all 13, all 13 sizes or something. And I think it ended up being like a dollar each. So then I was thinking, let's just get some of ev um, one of everything. And I even got it like in a rose gold color because I wanted to... Um, when I'm using them, I wanted to kind of know that that's where I got it from. Um, but then I started seeing the, them pop up on Amazon for about the same price. So I'm like, oh, I could have just bought it on Amazon, but that's okay. Um, they're coming from AliExpress. And I actually don't switch out my pen that often. Um, I switch out my single placer because I use... Well, I switch out the pen I use because my single placer for my rounds, I use the bent tip um, because I prefer that for, I prefer that. I just was never able to get the skill to use the bent tip for a square diamond painting. So for square diamond paintings, I do use just the straight tip, but for round ones, I, I really do like the bent tip. So the only thing I do is I switch out my metal five placer between the two pens that have the single the single placer that I like. But if I bought more multi placers, I don't have to switch out the multi placer on the two pens I have. Um, Cause yeah, I have one pen with a bent tip, one pen with a regular tip, and then. I normally would have my five placer in that, and then I have one pen that has a seven placer, but I still keep this, this um, the straight placer on that one because I don't use my seven placer that much. Um, and the only reason I've been using my my five placer is that's what my multi placer, my metal multi placer was. Before that, I was only use I was using the four placer, and I love the four placer, but I love the, my five placer now. So. Um, my seven placer, I barely use it, and it's it's just there. If if I get into a portion where I think I I it's just there. If 
I ever get to a point where I need to use a seven placer. And I have a nine placer metal tip too, but I I don't really like going more than the seven. The nine, I feel it's already kind of unwieldy. And I guess I don't do that many really color blocked diamond paintings. So, um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not one of those that love the nine placer or anything, or t I think there's a 10 placer too, no. Um, I, I pretty much have so far been sticking to my um, my five and seven. They they work out better for me because I feel like to you start losing control. I think wow, this three eight five two is really different color than the than the two that are already um, stuck in there. <laughs> straw very dark. I could see all of them being a good representation for the color though. Um, but nope, I have on my way some metal tips from AliExpress. Haven't gotten them yet. Huh. What I think I also have a diamond painting from AliExpress on my way. Um, mainly because, so I, I decided to buy, so where I got my, um, my square ABs and my square rhinestones was from an AliExpress store called DPF on on AliExpress. And I, I did three DPF diamond paintings from AliExpress last year, but I haven't ordered from them again. And there was an AliExpress sale that I thought that they went cheap enough. See, the reason I didn't buy from DPF again for a while is they never go on sale like... It's so it's hard to to buy from them because they they never they never participate in the the sales that um, AliExpress went does. But I think this last one it went cheap enough that I I thought okay let's try DPF again. So I bought so I bought um, a diamond painting from DPF because I want to check out their quality of their regular drills if they're anything like the quality of the. I remember their their drills for when I did it last year were pretty good. I th it was like one of the most minimal gapping diamond painting companies that I've done. So them and Home Fun were all, like my favorite that I did last year um, of squares. But like I said, I I didn't really buy again from DPF just because they. They were always like for a 40 by 50, they were always like maybe $15 and then you could get a 40 by 50 for maybe $12 from home funds. So there was always like that $3 um, difference and I'm perfectly content with home fund too. So that's why I've never bought from DPF, but, um, but I've had, but I've had good success with their communication on DPF that I figured if I was going to order my drills for my my new <laughs> Heaven Earth Designs um, pattern, I would order from them and hopefully be able to convey what I wanted. Um, because that's, you know, half the battle when you're trying to get kind of a custom order on AliExpress. It's just the communication um, because there's the language barrier. So we're, so I'm talking to them, they have to um, translate it in their translator, and then their response is translated to me, so who knows what gets lost in translation. So that's why I try not to use big words, I use very common words when I speak to them, and I try not to, um, just so that they get what I'm saying, and I do short messages, I try to make my messages shorter. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how much they'll be, but I have one random drill in there. Three, eight, five, six. So we're almost done. Ah, my last tiny strip here. Um, so mahogany ultra very light. So yeah, I think, well, you won't see it till Friday, but <laughs> I'm gonna be recording my Friday video right after this video. Um, 
after a, a little water break, maybe a snack break, so I don't become hangry, you know. You don't want me to be hangry while on chat on the channel. Um, Three eight five six is mahogany ultra very light. So I figure I was gonna kit up the the two diamond paintings and then see if what I need to do to um, if I need to re change change like the how much is in each box because I haven't re I have like the labels on in front of the box is not a it's not accurate to what's inside the box because I, I was still I was planning not to really do the big rearrangement until I I finished this up so that I knew how much stuff would how how stuffed these boxes would get um And I, I, or maybe I should, no, I'll, I'll kit, because I think I have one, two, three, three, four, I have four square diamond paintings that I could kit down to, so maybe I should kit down before I kit up my heaven and earth designs. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> I feel like I'm already committed to kitting up my Heaven and Earth designs that I don't know if I want to kit down. Maybe I'll kit down next week for Heaven and Earth designs cross stitch pattern 2. So yeah, we'll see. You know how like when you make a change to your plan, you, you ponder whether you want to, to make the change because you're already like in your brain prepared to do one thing. <laughs> Yes, I have four square diamond paintings that I have not yet kitted down. Um, <laughs> that's what I meant by me being behind. I don't even know how many round diamond paintings I'm behind and don't even like and amount of special shaped diamond paintings I have to kit down. <laughs> have you seen how many special shaped diamond paintings I've been doing lately? Um, I have so many special shaped diamond paintings to kit down that I feel like I'll never run out of content because I'll, I could just keep kitting down like I probably have enough things to kit down for like a couple months <laughs> of videos of kitting down um, and that's with me doing like two a week or something <laughs> so Yes, so that's how far behind I am. But I mean, I do small diamond paintings, so I think I just, by just sheer quantity of kits I do, I just have so many, so many to kit down since I do the small diamond paintings. Because there's other people who are like kind of the opposite of me, who who only really do the big diamond paintings. So, so even if, let's say, if you do it by square centimeters, I might diamond paint. They they might diamond paint more than me by just sheer square centimeters. But I think with me just doing so many, so many different diamond paintings, I think I just accumulate my spares so much faster because lots of times I most of the time I have been finding unless it's the expensive diamond painting companies because because I swear it's always it's always the expensive diamond painting companies that are like stingy on their drills. Um, <laughs> I I'm, don't don't quote me on that, but I, that's what I feel like is the more I pay for it, the more likely I'm gonna like almost run out of drills. Um, but I feel like. A lot of like the small diamond paintings give tons of extra drills, so that's why I just accumulated so much so fast. So man, the rhinestone for this one is like a purple color and it's it's brown on you know I think that's the one I, I remember reading on when I was looking at um I don't know, maybe it was DP with sparklers or shimmering canvases or or something and they said 
this one it was like I don't know if it was this color but they put in parentheses for a brown color looks purple <laughs> when they were selling the rhinestones um, and I wonder if this is that case so three eight six two is mocha beige So it doesn't look like there's going to be any missing ones from this last page. Um, I, if you saw my parts eight, one through eight, there is, there's a couple um, DMCs that are not in this because there was 445. My chart has 453. So there are eight um, that were not represented. And I guess it'll be very easy to see the eight that are not represented because they're still on my sticker sheets here. So, but I'm keeping them in my chart just because you never know. They might decide to start making a diamond painting drill for it. Um, I think I had one where um, it wasn't in this art dot one, but I actually had a drill for it in one of my... Um, but um, I actually had drills for it, so yeah. I'm thinking just because they worked in this doesn't mean that there aren't companies that use that DMC to that use that DMC when they make their kits. Three eight six three mocha beige medium. 3864 is Mocha Beige Light. I just realized I'm using my crazy, like, sharp <laughs> scissors where I don't know if anyone has ever done this, but I've accidentally cut myself with scissors because I hold it like this and then I cut and then, yeah, no. Yep, I've cut myself on camera, but, but I, I think I kind of went into kind of a Oh my gosh, I got cut shock that I was able to just pause the video <laughs> without even saying anything until afterwards because I had to go pause and deal with the cut um, and bandage myself because it was actually kind of bleeding. So 83865 is winter white. This is the um, 3865 and 5200 is pretty much the main whites you see. Um, 5200 tends to be more bright white, but I've also seen 5200 where it, was, it looked exactly like 3865. But I feel like when I see that, I just put it in with 3865 because I feel like 3865 is a tiny bit of an off white, while 5200 is like a bright white. So since I kind of already know where to put it, I don't bother like making another bag for 5200. Although I feel like my, wait, do I have that many colors of my 3865? Because I'm looking at my 3865 and I have this one, this one. Yeah, I could see why I have, see this looks different than this one and this one. And this, this one looks a little grayish. This one looks different than that. That's kind of, that is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> three, eight, six, five, and the last color. This is longer than my 35 minutes, I thought. <laughs> three, eight, six, six is mocha brown. My baggy. Now, if I were so inclined to do it, I can match my DMC list drills to to the chart and figure out a DMC. I don't know if I'll ever be desperate enough to organize my drills and do it that way because have you seen how many drills I have? I feel like I don't need to make that effort for my DMC list diamond paintings. Um, 
But you, who knows? Maybe I'll be one of those... Maybe I'll just do it once for a video, but then find out if I like it or not. But yeah, here is the chart done here. Here is like some lovely browns. And then over here is a more nice color rainbow. So yeah, I finished. I finished. So if you don't remember, here is page number one. Page two. Page three. Here's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And in case you're curious, we could probably figure it out. Um, so my labels. So it looks like we were missing 504 blue green, 731 olive green, 868 eight, eight, hazelnut brown, 776 pink medium, 806 peacock blue, 971 pumpkin, 3733 desert sand. So, so yeah, here it is. My box here um, have tons of drills in here and it seems pretty, this seems pretty well spaced out. So then I'm gonna probably off camera look at my six boxes, see if they're, how loose they are, whether I need to rearrange any of the um, numbers and then I could remake my my label because I just kind of wrote this out really ugly because I knew it was going to be more of a temporary one and remake my labels in the front so it'll look nice. So that's all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!